What's up, everybody? It is your boy Yushi Sama. I'm back at it with our next review for Hunter x Hunter, chapter number 359. This chapter opens up with the Black Away Hello! I just felt like saying it like that. But yeah, this chapter opens up with the Black Whale. The Black Whale has finally set sail, finally at last. And we are given a brief description of how this journey will go. Apparently, as they leave like their territory area and enter like closer to the dark territory area, dark continent territory area, there will be a lot of thunderstorms, a lot of creatures, and a lot of random events occurring on their way to this dark continent. So it's going to be a rough ride. And on top of that, we already have a whole bunch of shit going on inside the boat. So, it's going to be a really rough ride. So, right after this brief description of how this three week voyage will go, we are shown Beyond Cell. Beyond is just there chilling in the cell. He's waiting. He knows he's probably going to escape eventually. Or when he gets to a dark continent, he's going to go savage just, and just do his things. So, we are shown three Zodiac members guarding Beyond Cell so he doesn't try to break out and cause trouble for everyone. And <laughs> these three Zodiac members, they feel that it's unnecessary for them to be guarding Beyond. And one of them states that makes um he feels that it shouldn't be needed for three guards to be guarding one person. So they offer a rotation thing so only two people will be guarding and one person will be taking a break and it's funny if you guys remember um a couple of chapters ago i don't know how much chapters ago like hunter x hunter has so much hiatuses <laughs> like i forgot some stuff but um there's a traitor in the zodiac crew so if you've been given an order for you three to be guarding this one guy, shouldn't you all follow it? If there is a traitor in the mix, then maybe like that traitor will be the one who would make that proposition or whatever, right? Well, that's what I think. So, yeah. Um. After that, we are shown <laughs> Lirio. Lirio, Lirio, Lirio. We haven't seen him in so long. I'm so glad he's on this trip. He's there doing his things in the doctor's room because bare bodies are dropping, bare people are getting beat up on this ship on the 4th and 5th deck and whatever because war broke loose, as I said in the last chapter, <laughs> on the boat. So Lirio as a doctor, he's there doing his things on the boat, helping people, bandaging people up and so. And we're um, showing Miyazaki, Mizai or Muman. Yes, Muman, that's what I call him. His name is Mizai, I believe. I double checked, like Mizai To, something like that. But I'm calling him Muman. Yeah, Muman is there um, trying to trying to sort everything out in the meeting room. And yeah. So right after that, we are showing Kropika and the squad again. Not the gone Kilua Lirio squad, I mean Kropika and his new temporary squad, the bodyguards, because Kropika is the bodyguard for this arc. And the bodyguards and Kropika are shown a dead body by a random bystander who's happened to see this dead body in this bathroom stall. And this dead body, oh dog, this dead body bro is like, it's drained. All the blood has been sucked dry from it, so he's done, like he's dead. <laughs> so what they end up doing is stripping the body to find out the cause of this death or find out more information about the death. But what they end up finding is a bunch of little tiny holes all around this guy's body. And that's kind of messed up. So right away, Karapika makes the assumption that it was a Nen user who could have caused this and instantly asks the people who shown him the body um, if they know what Nen is, if they've seen any Nen users around. But these random bystanders have no idea what Nen is. They could be playing dumb, but we won't know that <laughs> unless 
Togashi lets us know that. But yeah, these guys know nothing about Nen. And so Kapika ends up asking the subordinates why they why didn't they um why didn't they handle the situation and why did they leave Kropika to do all the interrogations and these bodyguards state that um, it's, their, it's not their job to do this like interrogate people and let people know about Ned because Ned is highly confidential and they give their explanation and their explanation um, allowed Kropika to realize that he is the only person who knows about um, the the war that's going on, the succession war. And all these other bodyguards were not informed about it. The queen only told Kropika about it. So right now, <laughs> she's going to have to kind of investigate and handle this whole situation by himself. Possibly he might get Lirio involved, but we won't know that. <laughs> so right after that, Count how, many ten, how, count how many times I really said that. Right after that, right after that, right after that. I said it so much times, it's so repetitive. Anywho, right after that, we are brought to the ceremony hall. <laughs> where um, we are introduced to... So right after that, we are introduced... Or not really, not introduced. We are reintroduced to one of the princes. One of the 14 princes. And this prince is basically gloating, kind of gloating about how strong he is and no one will take him down. And someone makes a comment saying that he will probably die. And right, at, right after that, he releases his killing intent. You know that bloodlust that Hisoka does? Remember at the beginning of the show when Hisoka was in the forest of death area and his bloodlust was just oozing out? Well, yeah, that's kind of what this guy is doing, but not as crazy as Hisoka. And so he claims that he will not be killed so easily within this battle royal on the Dark Continent. So instantly after that, I didn't say right after that, instantly after that, we are, in, we are shown this princess. A two-faced princess. What was her name? She's not a princess. My bad. Lady Kacho. And she is acting fake as fuck. <laughs> and when I say fake as fuck, she's acting fake as fuck. So she's there talking to Fu, who is apparently her friend but she's not and she is there pretending to be someone who she isn't at all and as they walk away from the group that they're with Fu and the crazy lady she whispers to Fu saying yo you better fucking cooperate dog or I'll fucking kill you dog yo we're gonna fucking murk off all these fucking princes dog so that's what she says, and uh, she ends up leaving the area, and as she's walking away, she's like, Bye, everyone! It was nice meeting all you! And she walks off. And when she leaves the area, she just starts cussing nonstop about this and that. Oh, this person gave me a dirty look. Oh, this person is ugly. She's acting like a straight-up bitch. And so, yeah, she, she's not cool. Momentarily after, Kropika walks into her room and he sees bare dead bodies and it's just pure confusion. No one knows what's going on. No one knows who dropped all those bodies. No one knows who killed those bodies. No one knows what's going on. So instantly, Kropika, like the G he is, pulls out the strap, pulls out the chain, and he's like, yo, dog. One of you guys better fess up or I'm gonna murk one of you dogs. Because my judgment chain on my finger beside my middle finger is a lie detector. And if any of you guys wanna lie, I'll cap your head off on. You're run up dog. And that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> so that's really how the chapter ends and it was a really interesting chapter, I'll say. Mmm those 
Next week chapter is definitely gonna be interesting. I want to see if Krapika is really gonna use a gun to kill a man, which for some reason I doubt. Um, I don't think the killer is gonna be in that room. I don't think the killer would be there. I think the killer is smarter than that, and it wouldn't make sense for a crappy cut to find the killer so soon. But, like I said, I may be wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm never right. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm always right. I'm joking. I'm sometimes right. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this review. Comment, rate, subscribe. Comment, dislike, subscribe. Dislike unsubscribe whatever you want to do but i hope you enjoyed the review have a blessed day